Hi guys and girls, welcome your faces back to another episode. It's your boy Westy Gaming 97. How are we all doing this evening? I'm back at it again with another drug dealer simulator. This is episode number nine. I can't believe it. You guys have absolutely smashed my expectations with this series. You guys are smashing my views and smashing them like buttons. So yeah, I'd just like to remind you all now quickly before we get into this episode. Please don't forget to smash the like button on this video if you like it. There's a playlist down below with all of my other play, uh, my episodes so far on my Drug Dealer Simulator. Along with some Bioshock, Far Cry and a couple of other games for yourselves. But yeah, also don't forget to subscribe with that little notification bell turned on. I am trying to do a daily upload as much as I can. So if you make sure that notification bell is turned on, you can never miss an upload. And also feel free to drop me a comment what other games you would like me to see um play and also do but yeah so in the last episode we had just reached bum 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 just about to reach level 10 well, we just reached level 10 i can't quite remember i had a bit of issue with my save so yeah i think we need to go in i don't know we need to what am i doing We need to go and hand this off. We need to go and hand four G's of amphetamine to Arnold Bush. Run over here. I love how he always gets so puffed out very quickly. Here we go, sunshine. We'll shot that to you. Get the naughty respect up. Boom. So yeah, we're very close now. And then we shall see what is in store for us. Ooh, I know what's going to happen, and it's quite exciting. Hopefully there should be an update coming soon to this as well, which I will be, as soon as that drops, I will be releasing a video on that new update because it looks absolutely fan dabby dozy. Uh, right, I need to make some more sales quickly. Let's go and make some more sales. Only four Gs of amp, okay. Three Gs of amp. Only one of them. Eight of that. It's only three of that. Boom, 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 boom. Let's get going. Go and make this quick drop to Victoria. Whoa, get stuck. Hopefully, one more sale on it. Yeah, one more sale. Then we'd be all sweet. Yes, here it is. There we go. Level 10. There we go. This is where we get excited. This is actually where this game actually really opens up and becomes interesting now. So we'll wait on a little cool ski from Ed. I think yeah, they're not quite ready yet. Normally triggers when you come in here. There we go, Sector B. Woo! Hey, looks like the blockade's got lifted. Right on. 
Let's go look around Sector B, shall we? But keep in mind that the police will search your shit each time you pass the checkpoint. So if you need to move something illegal through that wall, well, we're gonna have to get creative. That is actually kind of a little lie. Oh, that starts already. All right, there. Listen up. A guy will write to you soon. He will solve the cash flow problem I warned you about earlier. If you know what I mean. You meet him, bring him cash. He does his magic. He'll explain you the details personally. See ya. Before you go meet that guy, you have better check if he doesn't drive a white van and <laughs> candy. You know. I'm just saying. So, yeah, this is Gerald. So, uh, he, um, not Gerald, Gerard, sorry. Gerard Francia. So, yeah, he is a money launderer. So, he's the way you get your cash into your bank accounts. Um, he is okay and he keeps it very low key. I just think this 40% fee is ridiculous. So if you basically put 500 in, you're losing 200 of that, guaranteed. Like, so you're only getting 300 out of the 500 you're putting in, and it just, it costs you a lot, and you end up paying him a shit ton. In my personal opinion, I don't recommend this, and I don't recommend anyone doing this, because I'm a YouTuber, and I can't be recommending this, but that little glitch where you kind of dump the bag and just keep the money, personally, I would just do that if it was me. You, you will make the money back and you'll just be a lot better off with it. I uh, Trust me, it's painful. Very, very painful to pay Gerard every single time. But yeah, let's go and have a little look-see. And I will actually show you where you... It's kind of a lie. You don't need to pay attention to him. So if you actually just run through here like hey, this... Oh. Over here, pal. Okay, he actually caught me for once. First time he's caught weapons. me today. But yeah, normally you can actually just cut around this little corner. And they will ignore you. Okay, you're clear. But yeah, we are now in Sector B. So this is Sector B. So you have our little shop supermarket area here with our little ooh, underground subway station, which apparently... Um, oh. i got another medium backpack. Okay, that's handy. Ah, okay. That was random. First time that's ever spawned there. But yeah, no, um, yeah, this is a new subway, which is meant to be having something done with it. I'm not 100% sure what yet, but there is something meant to be going on with this. Again, we've got some locked doors. Which I'm assuming are going to be future hideouts. To all units, we have an aggressive, intoxicated individual on the station. Same, same with this yeah, I feel like this is going to be another safe house. Because it's all locked up. So this is the... Um... Okay, so this is old school and decorative stuff. Okay. So yeah, this is more the old school stuff. And the house plants and like more decorations. So this is mainly... Um... This is mainly a shop you kind of just come in for the wait time. Um, I can't find I don't use the waiting that much. If I'm being completely honest. Because I end up just skipping through the time. Oh yeah, we haven't unlocked this yet. So this is your drugstore. Uh, you will come to use this later on. And he does become very handy. This is the nightclub, which... This will all become clear eventually. That will take some time. This is Jay's shop. So let's have a quick little look see in here. So this is all Jay's stuff. So he sells the Bitcoin spray cans. You can get an elegant roof case, which is quite a lot bigger. And also a duffel bag, which is quite a lot bigger. But I will not use him for now because I haven't got any money on me. Um, but yeah, that's the club. You have J shop right there. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, yeah, you got the drugstore down here. The police station is just over here. The Scarlet Dragon, which is another key location that will be explained later in the video. 
or in later videos once it becomes a bit more relevant I'd say but yeah so just for your information if you ever meet Gerard and you need to give Gerard money he will meet you exactly in this little location and he will literally be waiting there, just on the side of the road, waiting for you to come by with your money. Drop it to him. Sir, stop! Don't try anything stupid. But yeah, this is one little issue with going in and out of Sector B. You kind of need a stash house on Sector B and a stash house in Sector A before you even look at it. Okay, clean. Go you home. can transfer through. It just makes it a lot more of a bit of a ball ache and a lot more harder. I'll be honest with you guys. It's not the most fun thing to do when you've got a load of stuff coming in and out. But if you're only doing a little bit, it it's not that bad. But if you're doing big amounts, I'd probably say you'd be better off having a thingy by now. Oh, this guy needs 14 grams of amp. I can do that for you. Let's bag this up. Let's run this on over. We will actually drop a little save on here. Someone is banging on my door. What do you want? I ain't got no drugs for you. Here we go, Mr. Henry. Take my amphetamine. So actually, I will show you one of the ways you can get in. So you can actually get into Sector B via this. And these do come in handy. I won't go exploring because you do need a lot of lockpicks to come down here. But yeah, as you can see, you can find loads of loot everywhere. Huh. Speaking of that, we got some bobby pins, but we won't explore this. So yeah, you can, there's loads of these all around the map. So you can pop in and out of them. And also, you can go see this little man in orange over here. So, if you talk to him, where does this entrance lead? I don't know, da, 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 how much do you want? So, it's £100 right now. Um, I have got my other uh, gameplay up to about level 25, and I've hit the 250 barrier. So this does max out at $350, but it does go up. Um, when you come into later games, I use them more. When I'm in early game, I use the sewers because it costs nothing. The only snag with these is you have to have uh, a lot. I think, I think you can only have a medium backpack, up to a medium backpack in there. If you have anything larger than a medium backpack, that's when you have a bit of an issue. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember whether or not you can get the large in there or not, but I'm pretty sure it's only a medium. But um, you can get the medium and small in there. But yeah, that's the issue is you can't carry huge amounts in because you can't get down the hole. But the benefit is, is you're just moving 50, 60 grams or something. You can move enough under the border to get the stash house set up. And then when you're getting to the point where it's um, costing you enough to warrant it, you might as well use the tunnels. And then you can just use the tunnels and pay off the money because it will be perfectly viable. But that's what I say right now, £100 is kind of on the higher end to um, pay for it. Because at the moment, you're not making that much per sale. But um, yeah... So let's go and drop this off. Let's go and drop this off to my man over in Sting. There we go, and then we will run back over to the thingy. There we go, we got a nice attic. Let's 
also got another ad on the books, which is handy dandy. I think he's addicted to Blue Amp as well. Yes, he was addicted to the amphetamine. So I need. Oh, I haven't gone off of that. Drop three in there. Can I swap that in there? Yes, I can. Boom. So I need to go and drop this sale off now. Let's get some more money under our belts. And then once we get uh, a few more ranks up, I hopefully, I think it's, I'm not 100% sure. Over. Yeah. See you later, don't even pay attention to me. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure if I'm correct in thinking it is level 13 and then we can unlock the drugstore and then we can start cutting some more products. I um, I know to do meth, cocaine uh, and ecstasy, you need to wait until you are uh, you unlock the drugstore because they will not be able to be mixed because you need the large flask for the meth and the cocaine which will be using the acetone in it and then you um, need the pill machines to make the uh, ecstasy back into pills because you can't sell the powder it won't allow you to it will cause an error and people will refuse it so yeah that is just a little tip for the wise for you guys it's just that you need to make sure before i'd even bother about unlocking ecstasy and meth and all that lot i'd be um waiting so you um you unlock the drugstore because then you can uh, uh, actually cut them all rather than selling pure products which i know personally for the meth is very toxic and it actually causes a lot of deaths straight off the bat which is not good because um, once you get a couple deaths under your belt, you soon get the reputation of the death doctor. And I found once one or two start rolling, normally they'll they'll have the issue of they'll continue to roll on the deaths. Whereas if you keep the deaths down, they won't tend to pile up. But yeah, so we're going to get back into this one. Sorry, I just had to have a drink there, my guys. Uh, does anyone else need some stuff? Nothing at the moment. Um, I'm actually going to grab that marijuana out. We'll go over here. Drop a little quick save on here. So let's see if we can get any drum up some interest. If there's any people about. I won't be going that way. Nope. Okay, so we're coming up to the night time, which should be quite good. Come on, please give me something. No, nothing. You don't want nothing. There's no one about really anymore. I have noticed that recently. There's a lot less clients about, but I don't know whether or not they've. It's something to do with an update, or if it's just me and my gameplays. But yeah, I've just noticed a real lack of people with question marks above their heads recently. When I'm walking around like. Like, why can't you want something? Normally, you're the ones that want something. Other people in high visits and in hoodies, they're normally the ones that buy it, but apparently, nothing at the moment. Ooh. Anyone that way? Anyone that way? No, oh god, uh, I'm getting stuck on a cactus. Okay, anyone down here? Come on, Mr. Mr. Yellow Jacket. Really? None of you, man, want anything. None of these, man, want anything. Ah, no, it's a little bit of a collection, Hmm. 
Hmm, no one about. This is really weird. I have got really an hour left to make a move. Huh, that's very strange. Very, very strange to have no one out about. I'm just going to run around them. Pretend I didn't even see them there. That is very strange. Hopefully that will do some sales and we'll get some sales rocking and rolling because we need to really get this going. Let's have a quick wait. <laughs> oh, there's someone. Oh, that's actually quite handy. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Let's run this out to my man. Hopefully this gets us a bit closer. Because how many do we need? Oh, actually, I'll upgrade the stamina. Upgrade the stamina. Are we in even place house yet? No. Pablo McDurp. Alright, give me 170 respect. Not really what I need, but hey, up. Oh, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. There we go, two new orders. Old market, I don't want old market. Oh, okay, I'll just do that. Let's see what we can do with this one. Let's run around this way instead then. Attention, attention. Attention, attention. attention. All guest citizens. Police hours are to start in 60 minutes. Repeat. Police hours are to start in 60 minutes. For their own safety, all inhabitants are to proceed to their quarters. Individuals caught in public areas during police hours may face harm. Attention, attention. Atención, atención, a todos los ciudadanos huéspedes. El horario policial empezará en 70 minutos. Repito, el horario policial empezará en 70 minutos. Por su propia seguridad, todos los habitantes deben dirigirse a sus alojamientos. Right, I think it's going to be make our way home and we call it quits on this episode here, guys and girls. But yeah, 
Внимание, внимание! Всем гостям гражданам! Комендантский час начнется через... Oh, actually, I'll run these last two orders. This last order out. I'll run this last order out, because why not? Because why not? Awesome on it, mate. Perfect. 2G's and marijuana. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Right, we'll dump this cash in here and I think we'll call it quits there for today, guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. So, yeah, we've now unlocked... We've now unlocked... Um, Sector 2. Um, and we will be exploring that as and when more things become available so there are some things in the later game that actually do become more available the further you go in and the further you level up um it just does take some time to get that like, level it up which is the grind but um i might do some grind off screen for this one i'm not 100 percent sure although i don't really like doing the grinding off screen for this one i like doing the grinding on my other account but yeah i'm gonna leave it there for this time so we'll explore some more of sector b um in the next episode as well and hopefully try and uh build up a den over there as well and a stash house so we can unlock the downtown sector and the supermarket area but yeah i'd just like to remind you guys as well don't forget to like this video it does mean the world to me um don't forget to subscribe with that notification bell turned on so you never miss an episode also, feel free to drop me a comment, any other games you want to see me play, or even if you're just loving this gameplay, uh, let me know what you think. If there's anything you want me to try in this gameplay, feel free to drop me a comment down below and let me know. But yeah, it's been your boy Wester Gaming 97 for today. Signing out, wherever you are in the world, stay loved, stay safe, and peace!